Hello everybody, welcome back to Wanderlust Reloaded. This is episode 13, and I've been busy once again. So let's just get straight into it. First things first, we finally finished up with this funny quest. I got all that done out and out of the way, so let's turn that in. And let's just pick that kind of thing. This opened up another quest about wasps, but we're not going to get into that just yet. So let's put this one away. That won't stack for some reason. It's just another... I don't I want to call it a bug, call it a feature. I've also been working on doing some of the food quests. Which are also in here. Uh, mainly this one. I need to make five of everything here. It's not too hard, it's just getting the stuff together to do the recipes. For example, uh, five of these need 15 salt and a bunch of different meat. Wheat and eggs, which is obviously why there's so much noise on this video. So we'll get to that now. I've got a little chicken farm going. Nothing too technical, just a few chickens. No kind of chicken farm or anything like that. Uh, but they're providing a good source of eggs and feathers. Once I've got enough eggs together, like maybe four stacks of 16, I'll probably just kill them and, uh, and use their meat for one of the other food quests. I've also planted some new or different things. We've got potatoes now, because I need that for one of the food quests. Carrots as well for the same reason. Uh, garlic, again for the same reason. Celery uh, for another recipe. And then I've got spice leaves and soybean crops. And the reason I've got soybean crops and spice leaves is for a different quest. Oh, we've got a satchel of luck. Hmm, not sure what that's for, but it's thermal expansion stuff. So you know where that's going. And while we're down here, let's grab our snazzy glasses. Because we're going to take a look at... Oh, I actually need that as well. So, over here somewhere... We've got one, two, three, four, that whole bunch. I had one last time I checked, just this one. So as, as you, you'll uh, know from last time, I was going to rearrange the, the I want to say plants, but it's not, it's trees, come on, think. I can't remember if I did that last episode or did it in between episodes, but anyway, it's having much more results, as you can see. I didn't at first, but I put a bee box in the middle, bee house rather, and that seemed to speed things up a lot, so let's see what we get. I guess we won't know until we get through the tree realizer. As long as I get the ones I need for the quest, I don't mind. Oh, now silver lime is definitely good. And I need an oak one, but it's not, it's not apple oak, it's something else. Now the trouble with that one is I can't get to it without breaking something. Uh, breaking more leaves, so I'm going to leave it for now. And it looks like I've used my tool up already. This place is really noisy now with chickens and bees and stuff like that. So I want the trealizer. And I'm probably going to want some honey. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of honey now. Let's put the honey in there. And silver birch. Doesn't give us anything. 
a different type of silver birch. Ooh. Possible to get apples. I'm not sure about that. Another tree said that and I didn't see it. Silver lime, so this is something we needed. And apple oak. So if we back out into oh and no bees and trees. It's not showing silver lime saplings where I was expecting that. Hmm, not sure. Maybe it'll pick them up when we get them. So common beach is the other one. Just stick everything in there for now. Take off our glasses. Oh, actually, I need something else. So I need spice leaves. Just need five. So growing some spice leaves means I can now complete um, this quest to make cola soda. So if we have a look at cola soda, it's a pot, bubbly water, sugar, and spice leaves. And I thought I needed the presser, but I could be wrong. Maybe I just had to create it. But I need it for another reason anyway. So to get bubbly water, you put the water in the presser. Yeah, so you can get a bottle or a bucket. I think I have some empty bottles somewhere. I thought I did, maybe I haven't. I guess not. So, while well, we're down here, let's grab the saucepan. So, we need that and that. Some honey. And some water. Going dark already, that was a problem. And if we put that into there, we do get the bucket back, so I need to go and do that a few more times. Okay, time to get in. Do I have to put it? Oh, I have to get bubbly water. As well. So let's put the presser down. And we'll put it. Right here. So that's going to turn our fresh water into bubbly water. While we're waiting for that, let's put the tree eliser back in the thing. And let me show you what I've been busy doing, which you may have had a glimpse of. Them. Should be safe, but just in case. This is my new area built on top of the water. It's not finished, obviously, because I'm going to need a ton of glass. And I'm actually going to dye the glass, because I've seen a cool glass effect. Well, not effect, but if you dye it black, it doesn't actually turn the glass black black. It's like a shaded glass. It looks pretty neat anyway, so I'm going to get a lot of glass. Dye it black and then make a ton of glass paint. And then I've got two ways in and out. I can 
go on top or I can do go down below. This isn't finished, it's just, it's just temporary. Eventually I want to hide all this somehow under the water. Uh, so anyway, our uh, bubbly water should be ready. Sorry about the annoying chickens. And now I have five cold soda. Turn questing. And we'll pick. Let's have cherry soda, it sounds kind of cool. Didn't open, any more, open up any more quests. Which I'm surprised about. So now I've got to find somewhere for all this to go. That can go back in there. We've got a bunch more bubbly water. And then go in here. And what did we get? A desk bell. Is it useful? Bibliograph stuff which I'm not familiar with, so I'm guessing it is useful for something. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to move my Thorncraft stuff down here. This is going to be all dedicated Thorncraft. And I'm going to move, maybe not these, but everything else up into that that main room up there. Along with mechanism stuff and anything else I've got to build. I'm not sure what I'm doing with the smeltering yet. I could put it under here and keep the Tinker stuff like relatively close. Uh, because if I build it into the floor, it's only too high. So I could put an extra layer on top of this module. Not that I need it right now, but I could. I've also been busy making some coke bricks. So we've got a coke oven to put together. That's another thing I'm going to put down here. I know I said it's going to be all dedicated Thorncraft. But I don't see why I can't just put it in a wall and leave it to run. I'm just not sure where. I don't really need the coke oven, I'm just going for the cold food. I don't need the creosote. And as far as I know, not for any recipes anyway so far. And I can always dismantle it. So I'm going to put it in this wall over here. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to put it here. Three we'll definitely grab that salt because I need salt. This uh, flint matter is mining extremely fast through here now, as you can probably tell. Uh, Been a while since I built one of these, but I believe you just leave the middle free, and then over the top, like so. Yep, there we go. Let's throw all this back in. There we go, let's go grab some coal. Not coal, coal. Uh, we've got a small stack of it here. We can get going. And we can just leave that running. It's slow, but it's effective. I actually need more salt for one of those fruit recipes. I've got nine, I need at least fifteen. But that's something I can worry about another time. While we're waiting for a day to come around, the next thing I want to build is a fluid tank. Now, this is going to get a bit laggy. Maybe not actually, if I just do that. Normally, it comes up with a bunch of stuff when I type in a tank. So, this is an Ender IO fluid tank I've not used before, but I don't need a Maricopter tank, I don't need a pressurized, and I don't need a purifying fluid tank. So we're going for this one, but it doesn't say how 
how much it holds. But let's just go for it. So we need to make some iron bars. Which is why I've got all the iron. And then it's like that. Like that. And a piece of glass. Which I should have had some smelted up earlier. So the reason I'm getting this fluid tank, if it works the way most tanks work, I can pick it up and put it down wherever I want and fill it up with lava. So let's find that out, but let's do it down here just in case anything goes wrong. There's some marble on basil, by the way. It's not very flattering at the minute, it's just black and white. I'll colour it up when I've got more stuff. So, fluid tank. Okay, so it holds as much as normal tanks. And it looks like I can take it out. That's cool. Now, the question is, can I pick it up? Result. Alright, let's sleep and go and get some lava. Let's find out how deep these volcanoes actually go. One thing I have noticed, since I built all this stuff up here, a lot of stuff isn't spawning so close now. Creepers and the like have not been a, a nuisance. They tend to spawn over here or over there now. That's a like a little side bonus. I mean, there, I have still seen creepers. There was four over here like, a couple of in-game days ago. That was fun. I noticed them though, so they didn't get a jump on me. So let's see, is this our hole? No. I never remember which one it is there. Right, let's get off the weapons. Let's just pop that down there. Okay, at home. I could probably just right click it, but I'm a bit concerned. I'm going to try it in just a second. Right clicking it with the bucket. It is actually pretty big. Oh, it does go. Big, I meant deep. Pretty deep. Still going. I'm not complaining, I need as much lava as I can get. Oh, is that it? Nope. Still going. I'm not sure, but I think we might be below land level now. So they might, it could go all the way down for a line. What will happen first? I fill that up or empty this? Can I grab it without filling it? I can. It's still going though. Oh, the latest upgrade I got to my iron pick was uh, muscle upgrade, so it auto repairs damage. Saves me on the iron. Which is nice. I didn't expect this to get that deep. I thought it was going to go like a couple of blocks and then that would be. Okay, how are we doing? We've got six more buckets we can put in there and that's full. 
Now, I'm not sure how we're going to tackle this. I wasn't planning on taking out half the volcano just to get down to the lava. I've got dirt on it. We will take out this block and then build back up and fill it for now. Actually, before we do that, and to save some time, let's take out these two and bring our tank down to us. Oh, I see dirt. We're getting near the bottom, I think. Maybe. I'm having to check below me now because I'm breaking rule one of never never digging directly below you. So, will we fill this up now? Oh crap, nearly. Oof, that was a heart stopper. So, we can do one more bucket. And there's more than a tank full of lava down there. So I'm gonna keep going off camera and um I'll give you an update next episode on exactly how much lava we get. I just have to decide if making another tank is better. Although it probably is because I've got another uh, volcano over there to drain at some point. And all I'm using the lava for at the minute is for the smelter. I believe you can put it, use it as fuel in some of the engines and stuff that we're going to get into. Can't get another bucket in there, so we will just put it in storage for now. In fact, we'll put it over here out of the way, because this is probably where I'm going to end. So we'll just dump it in here. Like that. Now I've actually got the iron bars to make a few more. So I think I will make another one at some point. So we'll leave them in there, them in there. Them away. These flowers are getting out of hand as well. It's getting ridiculous. Oh, well, let's go and have a look at our fish traps. That's the other thing I meant to show you. Add some cool loot out of these, which I'll get to in a minute. So just fish. Ah, a nice shiny bow. And some leather boots and a vanilla fishing rod. I knew about them already, but I saw I'd show you on on stream or on video. And if we go down here we've actually got two bows. And this one is super powerful and good for XP. It's power 4, punch 2, and X boost, XP boost 3. Extra XP for mob killers. This one's power 3, another good bow. And a vanilla fishing rod on breaking 3. Uh, but it needs bait, so I've not used it yet. I can't remember how you get ant bait, but I think you have to use a sifter for that. Or I can use bread, but it seems kind of a waste of bread. So those uh, fishing nets are paying off at last. In a big way. Right, 
right, what else is there? I think we may be up to date now. And as usual, I forgot to check what time I started, so I have no idea how long we've been. Uh, but let's make this press and ferment, which we've been needing to do for a while. Actually, let's not do that. There was another thing I wanted to show you, which you probably already know about. The reason I'm growing soya is to press it a few times. So if you press it once, it turns into soya milk, I believe. Soy milk, which you can press again. Into silk and tofu, which you can press again. I promise you this is the last time. Oh, maybe not. Firm tofu? There was a step further. Maybe it's a different way, but you can make. I think it's heavy cream. I saw a recipe where I needed cream, I'm sure it was cream, maybe it wasn't, maybe it was firm too. Let's have a quick look in there. I think it was one of these. Baked turnips, maybe. Hmm. Nope. I'll have to find the recipe again. I know I needed soy for a bunch of stuff and I thought you had to do it um, a few times in the presser. Oh, there it is. Heavy cream. Oh, it's just soy milk. Um, and what's that used in? Chicken curry. Oops. Oh, loads of stuff. So we we can make use of these. Hopefully. I'm not going to press any more until I find the exact recipe I wanted to make. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that in case you weren't aware of it. You can press soy a bunch of times. Anyway, we were making progress with the pressing. Fruit press and a fermentation barrel. Not that I've got anywhere to put them right now. Fruit press. There's a piston, some iron, and some planks. And the fermentation barrel. There's more iron and more planks. Let's have a sleep. I think I've been going longer than I think I have, so I'm going to save that for the next episode, because I've just realised, even if I build it, I've got nowhere to put it at the minute. So let's go and see if our chickens have given them more eggs. Well, full stack and then some? That can't be right. Well, I'm not complaining. All our stuff's grown again. Super fast as usual. So between this episode and next, I'm going to have built the rest of this place. I don't know what to call it yet. Uh, machine corner, machine workshop, or just workshop. We'll probably do. 
Why do I have garlic in the separate place? That's what I mean. Now I've got no space for my shrooms, man. So yeah, I want to fill this out. Start putting some stuff down. Mechanism and stuff. So that's probably what we're going to get into soon. Make another one of these, get more lava, try and find the bottom of a volcano if there is indeed one. It could just go down straight into a big pool of lava. Who knows? I'm actually going to build this up a bit as well to give us a bit more room for bigger machines, just in case there isn't. Uh, for any of these quests. And then, another thing I need to do is get into the nether. So I've decided I'm going to put the nether portal in this hill here. Out of the way. And uh, noisy where all the bees are. Oh, hello deal with you first. That's the first creeper I've seen that spawns so close to the base. I should be using that bow. Never mind, I wasn't expecting anything to be out here. So you're going to put it in the portal in there, and then we've got to go to the nether for the wasp quest. I'll show you just before we finish, just to see what we're getting into. It's in food, and your previous bees seem to be almost harmless against those monsters called wasps, which are apparently from the nether. How typical! If you, however, are able to get the precious gooey goodness, you will be re you will be rewarded plentiful. The hives themselves are found in the nether, and don't worry you'll recognize them once it's too late. So we have to kill 15 of the hornet swarms, which sounds bad. Because everything in the nether is bad. So I'm going to make some new tools, weapons should I say. Get a proper decent kit of armor, not just odds and ends that pick up off mobs. And see what's, how bad the nether is exactly. Uh, and I'll probably die a lot. Well, that's okay, because if I die a lot, I'll just end up completing this quest, so, you know. This is life. It's just going to happen one way or another. I, I tend to die in the nether a lot, compared to the overworld. I don't know what it is, I just don't like gas. Gasps. 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 Uh, but with this bow, I should be able to do deal with them fairly decently. So that's it, we're at the end of the episode. We've got noisy chickens, noisy bees, noisy mobs. It's just getting very noisy. I think that's going to be like home B for the foreseeable once it's finished. So if you've liked this episode, uh, give it a like. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will catch you next time.